The U.S. Department of Defense said Wednesday that General Dynamics Land Systems won a $2.47 billion contract for the production of new double V-Hull Strikers vehicles. The contract, from U.S. Army Contracting Command, is covered the production of Striker double V-Hull A-1 engineering change proposal vehicles. In a statement, the DoD said the work locations and funding will be determined with each order, with an estimated completion date of April 30, 2027. The double V hull design provides improved protection from improvised explosive devices and also adds enhanced armor, wider tires and seats that reduce the shock from a blast to the striker platform. In a tweet, Editor of James and Defense journalist Sam Cranny Evans said that most of the U.S. striker fleet is undergoing a modification to the A-1 standard that introduces a double V-hull to reduce the vehicle's drag coefficient. The U.S. Army initiated the striker double V-hull DVH program in response to an operational needs statement from Afghanistan. Noting the commander's concern regarding striker force protection, survivability shortfalls against underbody improvised explosive devices IEDs and blast threats. The DVH-equipped Striker Brigade Combat Team SBCT, has the same mission profile as a non-DVH-equipped SBCT. In a recent announcement, the Army said also that it has made the decision to integrate a 30mm gun weapon system on striker combat vehicles with improved hull design. According to a request, posted on the Federal Business Opportunities website on last year, the U.S. government has identified a requirement to integrate a 30mm weapon system on striker with new underbody design known as a striker double v hull dvh infantry carrier icvv and the ecp modified icvv icvva1